Hello everyone, welcome back to another Starships 2.0 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be covering ability scores, how to assign them, what they represent, and what they do. Unlike in the ground game, you do not roll to determine a ship's ability scores. Instead, you use the standard array, which is listed in the book and also on the sheet in the ability scores cluster here. Or, you can use 27 point by. I personally recommend using point by due to the ease with which you can increase your ship's ability scores. This also means that negative ability scores won't come up very often, which is great. I'll go over the thought process that is used for assigning ability scores when we're making uh, ships for the official shipyard in the build videos. The first ability score is strength. Strength measures the power of your ship's reactor. Max fire, shield points, damage rolls, and flying speed increase as your ship's strength modifier increases. Strength also governs the boost and ram skills. So let's go to our shipyard here and let's start playing with it a little bit. So I'm gonna pick out just a weapon for ourselves. Let's pick, uh, well, let's pick a box standard laser cannon. And we'll make sure that, yeah, that all of that is on the screen. So currently our ship is set as a medium. So watch what happens uh, when I start messing with this base score. So if I increase this to a 12, our flying speed's increased by 50 feet. Our max fire number hasn't actually changed. Uh, and our laser cannon now has plus one extra damage. Now if I bump that all the way up to a 20 for medium ship, now our flying speed has gone up a lot. It's gone up by 250 feet. Our max fire has increased to eight and our ship weapons have a plus five uh, damage boost to them. Oh, also I forgot to mention, when you increase strength, your ship's shield points go up. Watch the shield point number as I put different values in here. That's 38, 43, etc., etc. The second ability score is dexterity. Dexterity measures the nimbleness of a ship. Armor class increases and turning speed decreases as your ship's dexterity modifier increases. Dexterity also governs the hide and maneuvering skills and affects initiative if using the alternate initiative rules. So let's see what happens if I start fiddling with dex. So if we increase dex to 12 from 10, you'll see that our turning speed dropped uh, by 50 feet, which is good. Lower turning speeds are better. And our armor class increased by one. Now if I bump it up to 14, our AC increases to 12, and if I bump it up to 16, it's not going to go up anymore. This is because of the armor type that we've chosen. Now look at our turning speed. Our turning speed is down to 50 feet. If I increase dexterity again, it's not going to go any lower. The lowest turning speed a ship can actually have is 50. The third ability score is Constitution. Constitution measures the durability of a ship's hull. Your ship's hull points and maximum number of suites increase as the ship's constitution modifier increases. However, your ship's flying speed decreases and its turning speed increases. Constitution also governs the patch and regulation skills and aids in recharging, which is the starship's equivalent of a short rest. So let's see what happens when I start messing with con. So if I bump it up just one level, up to 12, our hull dice have gone up, but our flying speed and our turning speed have both changed. Bottom back down to 10 so you can see it. Pay attention to those two numbers. Our flying speed's dropped by 50 feet and our turning speed has increased by 50 feet. You also notice too that our sweet slots have gone up. So if I keep bumping this number up, our hit points, our hull points keep going up, our sweet slots keep going up, and our speeds keep getting worse and worse. The fourth ability score is Intelligence. Intelligence represents the capability of a ship's automation and computer systems. A ship's minimum crew requirement decreases as its intelligence modifier increases. This is most noticeable on ships of size large, huge, or gargantuan. Intelligence governs the astrogation, data, and probe skills. So like I said, on our um, little medium ship, we only have a minimum crew of two, so it doesn't take much to actually get that down to one. I believe it's at, yeah, there we go, at a plus two, and we're already down to one minimum crew. But where you can see this the most is enlarged gargantuan ships, so I'm going to stick us on a 
Yeah, we'll stick us on a large ship. So a large ship with uh, 10 in is just going to have 400 minimum crew. Now if I start bumping that up, bump it up once, it goes down to 200, twice goes to 120, three times is 64, four times is 32, five times is 16, and you can go, you can just keep going with it, uh, up to a plus six, I believe. I'll put the actual chart on screen again from the cruise video. The fifth ability score is Wisdom. Wisdom represents the capability of the ship's sensors and targeting sh systems. A ship's attack roll modifier and weapon safety DCs increase as its Wisdom modifier increases. Wisdom also governs the scan skill. So if we mess with Wisdom, what we're going to want to pay attention to is this attack modifier number down here. And you'll note that uh, Laser Cannon doesn't actually have a DC assigned to it. Um, this is partly because of some modifications I made to my own she sheet. I went in and redid some of the formulas. So let me pick a weapon that actually has like the, um, here we go, burst laser cannon. Burst laser cannon has the burst feature, so it can actually use a save DC. Uh, actually, that's a bad example, um, cause it has auto as well. Uh, twin laser cannon, here we go. So with this one, we have the option of using a rapid attack or a normal attack. So if I start bumping up the wisdom modifier, watch the DC number and watch the attack modifier goes up to 1, or DC is up to 9, 2 and 10, 3 and 11, and so on. It just keeps going up, up, up. The last ability score is Charisma. Charisma represents the presence of the ship and its ability to interfere with other ships. Charisma governs the Impress, Interfere, Menace, and Swindle skills. And that's all for this video. I hope you found it to be helpful and informative, and I'll see you on the next one.